Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is all the different types of non-functional testing. This will be a three-part video because I don't want to overwhelm you at first, so this is part one. Remember, the earlier a bug is found, the easier it is to fix, and the less costly it is to fix. If a bug goes all the way to production, it's going to cost a lot more, including getting end user's trust back compared to catching a bug in a development cycle. So the purpose of all testing is to catch bugs as early as possible. Non-functional testing is based upon performance requirements as well as customer expectations. As I said before, this will be a three-part video because I don't want to overwhelm you. So this first part will cover performance testing, load testing, and stress testing. So first, performance testing. Performance testing tests deal with how responsible and responsive an application or software is on a different workloads. The test will analyze the speed, memory usage, and scalability as well. Different types of performance testing results will give you different necessary data. Through reports, you can analyze the bottlenecks and bugs. This testing can also include testing database, networks, and servers. Next, load testing. Load testing is a type of performance test, so that's why we covered performance tests first. It tests how an application or software performs when a large amount of users are active at the same time. This allows you to see how different parts of your system will act and if new measures need to be taken to scale the system. You can also use this type of testing to see when you have a large amount of users that are in different locations. Stress testing. Stress testing is also a type of performance testing. Stress testing tests the system under different extreme workloads. This will test how system responds when going from high loads to low loads, and then from low loads to high loads. Maybe from high loads to low loads, the system just crashes. Or when it goes from very low loads, to very high loads, it doesn't know how to act and it freezes and also crashes. So that's why this type of testing is very important. And that's it for part one. As I said, I don't want to overwhelm you, so there will be two other parts. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want more videos like this, please take care. If you're watching this in the future and want to see the next one, please take care. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.